All right, guys, welcome to our EDHCC Mystery Box Opening Special. I am your host, BT, and we're about to find it together as promised, thanks to your comments in episode 63, if this mystery box is just a trick or has some treats, considering we're just two weeks away from Halloween after all. I'm really excited to see what it could be in here. And to tell you the truth, I don't know if it's a bunch of commons, could be some uncommons, could be a few rares, who knows? But uh, let's do this together. And let's see what's in this mystery box. You guys ready? Oh, almost forgot. Not to, not to tease anybody here or anything like that, but I just wanna say thank you guys for 680 subscribers. We're less than two dozen subs away from 700, so appreciate that greatly. You guys are awesome. And don't forget to check out our EDHCC giveaway to find out how you can win a delicious foil maze of it. All right, let's get started. Let's pop this open. Well, I'm almost shaking a little bit here because I'm kind of excited. I don't really do very many of these openings. I don't buy much stuff. Um, aside from the singles or whatnot, or maybe I might buy the odd pack here and there. Oh, this is so old. This is actually a, what is this? It's like a price tag sticker from the old card store I used to go to. So many here. Oh God, there's way more cards here than I was expecting. Is this a card or just plastics? Is this all just plastics? Oh man. Oh, okay, no, there's cards underneath here. I'm wondering like, is it all just plastics? There's a lot of cards in here. <laughs> Gosh. Well, I know you guys have stuff to do, so I'll try and go through this as quickly as I can. Uh, let's get started and have a look at what we have. I'll just put this aside. and Maybe they can actually use these to hold some of the cards if any of them have any cool value. Oh, right away, there you got a blackmail. That's always cool. A rune snag. I used to play this a lot. This is, wow, there's stuff from Cold Snap in here. Oh man, imagine if I get a Dark Depths or something, that'd be sweet. It's got a Dark Depths, uh, sorry, uh, or maybe um, the the magic card that goes to the, the, the sorcerer that lets you search out a snow-covered land would be nice too. So, and keep in mind, I don't really recognize any of these uh, rarities too much because I haven't bought them in a while. This is a nice uh, foil. Blind Phantasm. Some of these cards are so B dub is a lot. There's a Logic Knot. Oh, there's a there's a rare. Logic Knot was nice, but I got a there's a rare here. You got a wild pair. It's kind of nice. That you uh whenever you cast a creature, get another creature with the same uh, power and toughness and put it into place. It'd be great in my elf deck. Is this Gravel Slinger? Just a foil random C right there. I believe that's the Onslaught set. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's Onslaught. So I told us when I when I be played back in there, you got a Cloud Post there. Wow, there we go. Got a Spell Snare. Uh, this is always good. I forget what set this is from. I think it's Dissension. I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know in the comments, guys. I think the Spell Snare's got to be worth like maybe a dollar or something. And then the Cloud Post. Oh wow, I got a Remand. I see this a lot uh, played in other formats. Uh, this one lets you counter a spell and bounces on that. That symbol I believe is actually uh, the original Ravnica. Wow, it's gotta be worth at least maybe two, three bucks, right guys? I right, got a, a Remand, that's, that's, that's cool. Um, here we go, another, another counter spell. Oh, there's a foil mana leak in here. It's amazing. Um, all, all, all these counter spells coming out of nowhere. <laughs> Maybe this used to be a deck, I don't remember. So a mana tight that counters a spell unless a person plays one, the best white counter spell. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if I can put this mana leak into a plastic here. Look at these cool plastics that I, that I found that were in the box. I don't even remember these. I'll put this lovely foil mana leak that I just saw in here. here. I'll put that. All the cards that I really like, I'll just put here in a pile, and the rest I'll put off to the side. So, so far, we got a 
Couple nice ones. A lot, of, a lot of really nice counter spells here. I'm gonna move the box out of the way for a couple of seconds. I'll put that over there like so. Let's continue. So we got Fist of Ironwood. What? I got an Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth in here? What is, oh, wow. Okay. Already, this is exciting. This is just, this is, there's way more cards in there, but already, I mean, this is just amazing as is. At least I don't have to go and buy. I was actually thinking about buying one of these the other day <laughs> for a new deck that I was trying to build, but wow, okay, so I got myself an Urborg. That's amazing. Wow. Well, moving on this pile of cards, we got a Mamodi Dijin. It's a rare, but not really worth anything. Got a Starlit Sanctum. Another Mana Tithe. <laughs> I'll just put that over there because there's already one that's here, I think. So I got two Mana Tithes. I'm just gonna place it there. Grafted War Gear. What I used to play when I first started, I used to think this card was the bomb. Until somebody played Mind Slaver on me once and uh, decided to get rid of all my creatures that way. Well, here's another good one. Avon Mind Sensor. What is that? I can't remember if it's Time Shift or something. Or Planar Chaos. I honestly don't remember. So this one lets you... Basically, when it, instead of making you letting your opponent search his deck with their top four cards. That's kind of cool. I'll put that down there. There's another Mana Leak. Oh, there's a Sirku! Oh, man! I think I might actually make a deck with this. I think it's one of the few uh, Demir Generals in Evolved Mill that I haven't made a deck for it yet. Let's put that in a plastic, too. So far, lots of treats here. I know these, I don't know how much these cards are worth. I'll have to go and uh, check them and maybe I'll put a couple of them in the video if, uh, if anything. I'm editing later on. I got a thought cast. It used, used to be a big thing in um, what they used to call those decks. Affinity it used to be a big thing. Look at that. Another spell snare. That's two. Wow. Depter's Nell. Okay, cool. So a lot of Ravnica stuff here, I guess. Depter's Nell. Let me just get another plastic. Depter's Nell, I used to think was so. I remember I used to play a, a funny combo back with uh, Yose and this, where you'd have two Yoseis, they die, they come back, and you could lock down your opponent forever. So there you go, that's a, a nice, another nice one. Next we have, okay, we got a Serum Visions. Oh, that's so beat up, I feel bad, man. I can't believe I left this at my mother's house, another card for, that was great for Affinity, Seed of the Snyad. Got ourselves a Crip Rats, that's pretty cool too. Let's put that over there. I got ourselves another rare, uh, a Crown of Convergence. Oh, it's so beat up though. Another rare. A Cranial Plane, one of the, one of the uh, really great, another really, really great card in the uh, Arcbound Ravager decks from back then. I have this, uh, a foil, what is this? A foil Fright, Fire Fright Mage. This is cool, foil common. There you got a Trinket Mage, an original Trinket Mage. I think the set this is from is Fifth Dawn, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. We got a second sunrise, tequila sunrise, bloodshed. I'm kidding. I'm old, guys. We got a second sunrise, it's always really cool. If you get bored white, get to bring stuff back. What else do we have here? Roar of Reclamation. Each player returns all artifact cards from his or her graveyard to play. Like, is this in white? What would you, maybe this would be in some sort of a quip deck, I guess? Another spell snare! I've got, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna get a play set at this rate. Got a seismic spike. I go a snow covered swamp, always cool. Uh, what is this? Fog, Sfogthos, the restless tomb? What does this do? It makes, Thunder Turn it becomes a black and green plant zombie creature with this creature's power and tells a good number of creature cards in your graveyard. I think Jimmy would like something like that. Another copy of Wild Pear. Timber Mare. Comes into play, taps all the creatures. This thing would be sweet if it had flash. Always nice. 
There we go, Undead Gladiator. So this thing is just really great in my zombie deck. We got ourselves an Elvish Guidance. So I'll just make sure we can see everything. Another Cranial Plating, man. Thunder Staff, man. I used to use this in my Elf deck. Arcanus! Jimmy was actually just uh, using this card recently against me. This is uh, the, the, I think this is the original one? Or is there such a thing as an original? Yeah, I think that's from uh, the original set that it was printed in. I think that was Onslaught. Or, I can't remember if it's Onslaught or Scourge. Liar's Pendulum, very cool there. Got a Barbarian Rift Cutter for, I guess, some sort of land destruction I might have had back then. Lay Waste, more land destruction. Got a Wire Wirewood Channeler. Oh, this is nice. This is, um, oh gosh, what are they, what was that set that was called? Not unglued, um, unhinged. I wish it was foil though, but these are still nice. Probably worth a couple bucks. Sensei Divining Top? Oh man, this is sick. It's Oriana plastic. Cool. Sensei's Top, oh yeah. Got ourselves a Foil Island. We can never go wrong with that. There's a Bog Witch. Birch Claw Rangers. My right, Elf deck, what is this? Kamal Summons. Each player may reveal any number of creature cards from his or her hand. Then each player puts a 2 2 green bear for each card revealed this way. Wow. Well, my old, my first Kalia build I ever made, Sun Home Forge the Legion, Fate's Fetters from the original set it was in, and one of Jimmy's favorites right here, Compulsive Research. Very good, a telling time from the original set that it was from, Ravnica. So a lot of Ravnica onslaught stuff in here. Okay, so we got our, uh, yeah, I have, I have another Serum Visions, look. Never go wrong with that. Another mana leak. I think I have a place out of mana leaks almost at this point. Another foil island. A simian spit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think Christmas is honestly coming early here. I got a simian spirit guy. It looks kind of beat up though in this plastic. But still, it's worth something. Simian spirit. I'm going to run out of room at this point. I got another sensei's divine top. Oh, uh, man, if my friend Dario could see, he'd probably scold me for that. Oh, there's an Aether! There's an Aether file in here! What is... What is this all from? Got another Blackmail. A Draw Scorpion. Another Restless Tomb. What is that? A... Pallid Micoderm. I didn't even know there was something as white creatures that make um, sapperlings, but cool. Then we got ourselves a evolution charm, a signet, another cranial plating that makes four for cranial plantings, another sun home, another signet. <laughs> so many duplicates. I remember I used to love this card here. Um, Carvin Caryatid. V2 Guys in the City Tree. I used to love this in my wrist deck. What is this? Foil, Riptide, was that Pilferer? Riptide Pilferer, I think. This is a cool, shiny merfolk. Wirewood Pride, got a Daru Encampment, creating soldiers. Golgari Rot, oh man, I thought that was a duel for a second. Golgari Rot Farm, <laughs> Mana Leak again. Sakashima, oh yeah, Sakashima's cool. I'll put her down in the pile there. I have to get some more plastics afterwards to, to put all those in because if I had known, I should have bought some plastics on the way home from work today. Uh, we got a Shadow Mage Infiltrator. This, I'm digging this. We got a Seed Spark, Bramble Elemental, another, okay, I got like a place of a Mana Leaks. This is hilarious. An Edgewalker, another Spell Snare. That's four Spell Snares. I think. Yeah, four spell snares we've gotten so far, I think. We got a spell shift, a dusk mantle, house of shadow, a demir aqueduct, another demir aqueduct, 
Demir Signets, which is a sign here. Seismic Spike. Wee Dragonauts. Elvish Pioneer. Got a Conjurer's Bobble. A Wall of Blood. I used to think this thing was so amazing when I was I first started playing. Echoing Truth. Very underrated card. There we go. Got an Override. Great for an artifact control deck. Condescend. I think it's also from Fifth Dawn. Uh, Welding Jar. More. Uh, Infinity stuff. Got a far seek. Uh, wow, I've just seen this card a lot in combo decks. Croc Clan Ironworks. Okay, let's put that in the pile. Why not? The Wall of Blood. Keen Sense. Wreak Havoc. Cry of Conviction. Oh, Fire Shrieker. I used to love this card until they came up with Grappling Hook, which is essentially, in my opinion, better. And we got Tajnar Swordsmith, which I you see me play in my um, equipment decks. There's some random plastic, I guess. No, I use that for the eighth of uh, Then we got a Watch Wolf. Ooh, that Watch Wolf got. Look at the side. That's terrible. That's bad. My bad. I'll put the eighth of vial in this plastic here. So what I'll do is because there's still so much stuff in there. So what I'll do is I'll put all this stuff on the side for now, but oh my gosh. I think I've at least almost scrounged up about maybe 60 to $80 worth of stuff here. I'll put that there for now. You can see there's still some more to go. I'll just finish up the rest of this side. Uh, hmm. There's stuff that's in plastics already, and so far that's actually been pretty cool. You know what, I'll save the plastified stuff for last. I'll laugh it's just like two forests or something. So I'll put those over there for now. And we got ourselves a sliver, a white mane lion, a sting, sling, sting? Sting scorger. There we go, seal of primordium. That was a good card. Oh, look at this cross and grip, but still. Got a seal of the snod. Pyrite Spellbomb, Silver Mirror. This is actually more than I was expecting. Some interesting cards, but not much in value, but still. Got a Talisman of Dominance, Haunted of Cleansing Fire, another, another legendary creature, Sosuke, Son of Sashiro. Maybe I'll make a snake deck with this eventually. Sweet, another, um, another Unhinged Plains. Put that over here. I'll put that in the pile for now. And we got a Spawning Pit. That's another card I think is another underappreciated card from the Mirrodin block. Yeah, I like, I like that. Got ourselves another counter spell here called Annul, specifically for artifacts and enchantments. Got a Vault of Whispers. Oh my gosh, I can't see that. Doubtless one, I think. This is for clerics in play. A Perplex. Auroch Salvagers. Far Seek, Induce Paranoia, Spark Elemental was a goodie, and other Elvish Vines. Still said that card's lightning bolt on a stick, but oh gosh. Oh, there's so many cards in here. And there's more stuff in plastics. You know, I'm just gonna put, I'll put the stuff, I'll leave the stuff in, but it's in plastics and whatever for later. Maybe I did something cool with those, I don't remember. Okay, so guys, you can see the box is now empty, or the tin is now empty, so we're on our left side now. I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can, because I realize you guys all have stuff to do. And plus, we don't forget, we still will have our weekly episode that will come out likely on Sunday. So we got another cranial plating. One of my favorite cards in red, Smash. Another Spark Elemental. Got a Pollen Bright Wings. Scatter the seeds. Oh, there we go. Channel the suns. Very, very cool. Giving you for four mana, wall mat, all five colors. Might need that for a deck eventually. Silvog Explorer. Rite of Flame. Very, very cool card. We got Perilous Forays. I used to love that. Then our Trinket Mage, I I saw one earlier. Knight's Whisper. Oh, there's a, there's a ghost quarter in here. Cool, cool, so both two really good cards. I'll just move the box over there and I'll put the cards I like up here. Yeah, Ghost Quarter. This from Dissension, I think. So 
there's that. Let's move this stuff over here a little bit so you can still see it on camera. There we go. Next, we have a Dowsing Shaman, uh, Golgari Germination. Oh, there we go. We got a Harmonize. Harmonize is always cool. You can draw three cards, although that card's been reprinted so many times. We got Echoing Decay, Reroot. Another card I like, Trigon Predator, Indrix Stomp Howler. There we go, another one I like right there, Fabricate. Go search for stuff. We got a Seat of the Snowed. We got an Opt, which I see people play a lot nowadays, so I'll put that in the pile. We got a Congregation of Dawn. I've been looking for one of these for a little while. We got a Kadorsa Kadama's Reach, which is always a good favorite. We got Cry of Conviction? Oh no, Cry of, Cry of Contrition. There we go, sorry. Uh, what is this, Rare? This is from Planar Chaos. It's called Chronozoa. Maybe it's related to Yu-Gi-Oh's Metal Zoa. I don't know. Either way. Got a, a Rift Mark Knight. Ah, oh, there we go. Essence Warden. I like that. I'm gonna, I know it's not that important, but I'm going to put that there just because I like it. Shivan Oasis. Got a foil here. What is this called? Hench Fiend of Ukor. And has gets just gets a boost. This is a cool looking common. No, I'll put it over. That doesn't really matter. Then we have the guy that searches out rebels, Ramosian Rev Revivalist. It's cool. For the rare we got. Wow, Magus of the Moat. Creatures without flying can't attack. And we got a wet wheel. What is this? Is so hilarious. These rares are. There's an eradicate there. Dude. <laughs> this is so hilarious. Oh, look a hair on this thing. Ugh. Or my mother. Um, got a backlash. I used to love this card. You, know, you tap a creature, an untapped creature, and deals damage. So imagine back then you'd be like, someone's coming out of you with a dark stick loss, you'd be like, you take eleven. <laughs> I got new Banalia. So Scryland. There's a good one. Terminate. I like that. I'll just put the rest of this stuff up here to make more room. We got a Sporoloth Ancient. Got ourselves another rare. We got a Quagnoth. Basically a 4 5 with Split Second and Shroud. And if it gets discarded, you can bounce it to your hand. That's kind of cool. Still. We got ourselves a Lava Core Elemental. Another foil. Salt Crusted Step. Rain of Rust. Silver Glade Pathfinder. This would be actually kind of good for a reanimator deck. Go get out your, uh, go discard your creatures and go get out your basic lands. Serum Visions. Always welcome to have more of those. Zoetic Cavern. Cranial Plating again. The nice one. Daybreaker Coronet. I'll put that there. Why not? Other Knight's Whispers. I think I saw one earlier. I'll just put this here then. All these amazing cards. Fungal Reaches. Um, Seeker of Skybreak. Love that. Spectral Searchlight. It was a card I used to use until Darksteel Ingot became a, a card I found out about as well, too. <laughs> Just because it doesn't measure up to Ingot. Detonate. Got a Plunder. So much artifact and land destruction for all my red cards. White Border Consume Spirit. <laughs> got a Wood Elves. Got a Call of the Herd. Is that... Is that time shifted? See that that that, uh, purp, that purple there? Time shifted? Another Kadama's Reach. One of my old school favorites, Crows and Tusker. You'd cycle, you gotta go get a basic... Oh, look, there's two of them. There you go. Three of them. <laughs> got three Crows and Tuskers. These little rascals. Another Smash. There's the fourth cross and tusker. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I got some Urza Land. Oh, wow. I got some of the Urza Land. A Magma Jet. Always cool, too. Was this Mark of Eviction? And Mnemonic Nexus. So kind of cool. Got a Finhorn Elves. Can never have enough of those. A Smallpox. I have this in my binder. 
Uh, Trigged Mage, I think that's the third Trigged Mage I've had. Like a Dose in the Falling Leaf. Okay, I'll take it. Dosen's good. Elvish Aberration, another Echoing Truth. We got Disintegrate. Now we're talking about some older stuff. We got like a better version of uh, oh, the Skull Clamp. What? Oh my god. Aether Mage is touched. I think it just got reprinted. We got a Wrecking Ball. What is that? Dream Chisel. Face down creature spells you play cost one less to play. <laughs> it's okay. Light of Sanction. Rent all damage that will be dealt to creatures you control by sources you control. Nah. There you go, Wayfarer's Bobble, an old school favorite of mine for fifth. Well, okay, two of them? Three of them? <laughs> Four of them, okay, a play set of Wayfarer's Bobbles. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, uh, Carvin Karyatid, Crop Rotation, hey! There we go, we got a Dismissal Failure. <gasps> Cutting Wish, what? Cutting wish. This makes me miss um, because before I just that was long before we discovered EDH. Uh, I used to play vintage um, before it was as crazily priced as it is now, and you couldn't get me to play without at least having a wish of some kind. I think the the this one, so the blue one is cutting, the red one I think is burning, the black one I can't remember the name of the black one. I think it's Death Wish. Let's you go for anything. The green one is no. The, the white one is Golden Wish. Lets you go for an artifact or enchantment outside the game. And the green one was what? I have to check the green one. Maybe I'll have it up in the a picture of it up here, right here, like Bing. We have a treetop scout. Actually, no. I'm gonna put the Cunning Wish over here because why not? Golgari Guild Mage, another spell. I have so many spell snares. Good goodness. Wirewood Herald times two. Steel Shaper's Gift. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Golgari Signet. W uh, Wall of Blood. Relentless Rats. I actually did make a Relentless Rats deck not too long ago uh, when I was playing um, uh, my tribal rat deck on the channel, so always good to have more relentless rats. I okay, that's my fourth trinket mage, so I'm up to play set for that. But Garden Hellkite, okay. It's not really worth my now we're getting in some, some different colors now. We got uh, a Bog um, Rakdos the Defiler and a Bogarden Hellkite. Uh, we got a foil fo a foil forest. We'll just throw that up there. Flight of the Fancy. We've got Daru War Chief that makes sort of like the undead war chief for soldiers. We got a disruptive uh, pit mage. Hope I'm saying that right. We got a Giga Drowse, which I which I see nowadays my friend uh, Norm plays this in some of his decks a lot to tap people out. We've got a hedge troll, a mantle of leadership, another sliver. Ah, oh, dredge card. We got a Dakmore Salvage. Very cool. Speaking of dredge, this card is very popular in dredge. Narco, narco, sorry, narco moba. So when it goes to the grave, you can play. We can just play it right out. More uh, rebel search. Another planes. I'm gonna put that over there. Ice fall. Tendrils of agony. Emblem of the War Mind, Seismic Spike. I see a foil there coming up. Cranial Plating. Wow, a Sword of the Meek. Okay, this is pretty cool. Can't complain about that. Wow, this is really early Christmas for me right here. Altar's Light, Molten Rain. I think I would make a land destruction deck at some point. I'll have to ask some of my buddies to make one. Consume Spirit, another Wall of Blood, more. I think I have all the Urza lands here. Then we got Viridian Shaman. Before Viridian Corruptor was a thing, this used to be in all my decks, at least all my green decks. We have a Psychotrope Thalid, <laughs> Tower of Champions. Plus six, plus six. If I ever make a, if I ever make a, like a budget green deck, I'm gonna put this in just cause. I got Distress, another Consume Spirit, 
a grinding station, which I've seen some cool combos with, a Crozen War Chief for beasts, a Temple of the False God. I'll take that, put it over. It seems it's reprinted a bunch of times. Got a Larceny. What is that? A Sprouting Vine. I think it has Storm. That's cool. An Arc of Blight. A little more land destruction. More Urza land. Another Remand! Oh, yeah. Another Remand. And we got a Magma Jet. So there we go. So that, I think... Oh, wait. We still have the cards that were apparently in plastics. Well, this is more than I could have really ever asked for. I don't know what... <laughs> honestly, um, just the fact that I got some of those unhinged lands and uh, some stuff like Knight's Whispers and stuff that you guys saw from here, and especially that Cunning Wish and the Urborg. I mean, so far, look at all the stuff we got. Do a, we'll do a quick recap here in a minute, but look, we got a, we got a couple of Sensei's Divining Tops. We got a, a play set of Spell Snares, Serum Visions, a Foil Malik, some Remands, Defter's Nell, even an Aether Vial, so... I can't complain of this at all. So all that's left are just these cards that seem to be in plastics. Let's see if they're worth. Let's see if there's anything here of value. If they're just foil commons like I saw a few before, well, I won't be surprised. First one, ah, there you go. So it's there's a mountain. So go figure. Next one is a uh, Gaia's Anthem. Wow. Totally forgot about this card. It's like the green version of Glorious Anthem. Very cool. So let's let's see. There's two cards left. I'm curious as to what they could be. Let's find out, shall we? Let's start with. Uh, let's go with the left. <gasps> A Gemstone Cavern! I've seen this card a few times myself. This card is, uh, comes in, I think, if you go second, then you get a, a counter on it, get to tap for one man of any color. This card's gonna be worth at least about like 10 bucks or something. Wow! Okay, I didn't think it was gonna get any better than the Urborg, and the last one is whew, another Simeon Spirit Guide. So there we have it. This is what's in the mystery box. So the cards that are really, like, I don't know. Let's go, let's go through this real quick. Just so you guys have a chance to see everything again. So the really big ones we got were, we got a couple of, um, a couple of Unhinged Planes, the Channel of the Sun, the Spawning Pit, uh, Clark Cran Ironworks, Shadow Mage Infiltrator. We got two, let's see if we get into the back here. We got two, Simeon Spirit Guides, uh, foil, uh, a couple of Foil Islands, which I'm just going to put them together here. Oh, that top is so beat up, but still I can't complain. Sakashima the Imposter, Serum Visions, the tops more Serum Visions, and an Urborg, some Spell Snares, Mana Leak, Remans, Adepter's Nell, Sirku, Haven Mind Sensor, Aether Vile, Trigon Predator, um, Harmonize, Knight's Whispers, a Ghost Quarter, an Opt, Congregation at Dawn, a Foil Sword of the Meek, more Remans, a Crop Rotation is always good, Cunning Wish, Dosen, got a Magus of the Moat, and the big one I think is, I think it's either the most expensive of the bunch, is either the Gemstone Cavern, or the Urborg. So those probably are the two biggest ones that we got in here. So there you have it. I'll just put these two out in the front because they're the big champions, if you will. <laughs> so there you have it. And I guess this is just a lesson learned to everybody. Uh, do not throw out your old cards. Just put them somewhere and you could, you could do something crazy like this yourself. Uh, wow, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to my mother. Never thought I'd be doing that on this channel. Thank you for uh, preserving these for me. This uh, really means a lot. This is, oh gosh, this is way more than I expected. So much love, mom. And, uh, and that's going to be pretty much it for this really awesome, incredible mystery box opening. So if you guys enjoyed that, let me know in the comments below. Let me know also if there's anything of value that, that I, and the stuff that we 
we looked in here that I missed and let, let me know in the comments and uh, thank you so much for joining me this is indeed has been a tr uh, has been a treat not a trick at all until next time which will literally probably be in a couple days because as I said I'll be releasing episode 64 this is your host BT I'm running you to check out all the videos on the channel don't forget to like share subscribe our videos but most importantly enjoy them join our game it's now your turn cheers and all the best